This video includes a paid sponsorship from Span, but more on that later. Elon Musk recently tweeted out that on March 1st, Tesla's master plan part three is going to be revealed. In this video, I'm going to briefly highlight Tesla's master plan part one and two, and then I'll dive into my predictions of master plan part three. And a lot of this is going to be based on what Tesla said in the past and some comments that Elon Musk has said in the past. And I believe we have a really good idea of what this is going to be about. So without further ado, let's dive in. I'm John and this is Cleaner Watt. On February 7th, Elon Musk tweeted out this Investor's Day graphic, and we'll talk a little bit about what's in the background there. But he said, Master Plan 3, the path to a fully sustainable energy future for Earth, will be presented on March 1st. The future is bright. I was already really excited about March 1st and this Investor's Day because in years past, we've gotten a lot of good nuggets from these Investor's Days. But I'm especially excited now because we're going to really hear Elon Musk's vision for Tesla's future and really for sustainable energy and sustainable transportation in general in the future. We'll talk about this more in depth, but this master plan part three, based on comments that Elon Musk has said in the past, and we'll highlight those comments, uh, this is all going to be about massive scale. And when it comes to massive scale, this is also what Tesla is obviously trying to demonstrate in this investor today graphic because that background image there that's tiled is just a side panel of say like for instance a model y now elon has been working on this master plan for a while i'm not sure exactly when he finished it but all the way back in march of 2022 elon musk tweeted out that he was working on master plan part three once again based on past comments that we'll talk about in a minute this plan is going to be all about massive scale but before we dive into that and before i dive into my predictions let's just briefly and quickly highlight master plan part one and part two and talk about how tesla is doing on those master plans so back in august of 2006 Tesla announced on their blog, Master Plan Part 1. This master plan really in summary, and this is a summary from the end of this blog post back in 2006, was to build a sports car, use that money to build an affordable car, use that money to build an even more affordable car, while doing above also provide zero emission electric power generation options. Obviously, the original Roadster was the completion of that first goal, the Model S and X, were really the completion of that second goal. The Model 3 and Model Y were the completion of that third goal. And Tesla Energy is the completion of that fourth goal. So Tesla's master plan part one has been completed. On July 20th of 2016, once again on the Tesla blog, Tesla's master plan part two was revealed. And as was summarized at the end of this blog post, once again, this plan was in short to quote, create stunning solar roofs with seamlessly integrated battery storage, expand the electric vehicle product line to address all major segments, develop a self-driving capability that is 10 times safer than manual via massive fleet learning, and lastly, enable your car to earn money for you when you aren't using it. Now, when it comes to Tesla's fulfillment of this master plan, this master plan is not yet complete when it comes to marking these off. Um, the solar roof, for instance, for that first goal is in production, but in very limited production. So I guess technically you could check that one off, but Tesla really has a lot more work to do to get that, I believe, to where they want that to be. For that second goal of really addressing all major segments with Tesla vehicles, of course, we do have the Cybertruck that should go into production this year, and we have the Tesla Semi, and I believe that's really at least at a basic level, that with the Tesla Model 3, Model Y, S, and X does a pretty good job of addressing, I would believe, the major segments. You could make a case for other like delivery vehicles being in that, and I believe that could come in the future. But at a basic level, once Tesla delivers the first Cybertrucks, you could say at a basic level that that had been achieved. Now you could say maybe Tesla needs a more compact vehicle, which we'll talk about. I believe that's part of plan three, but the Model 3 is decently compact and it's decently affordable overall. But nonetheless, I believe at least the Cybertruck needs to come out before we can really say that's been uh, somewhat achieved. The next goal about full self-driving capability, of course, Tesla has not yet completed their full self-driving software. It's still in beta. And while it's doing very well, 
Um, and while it is getting closer with every update in many ways, it appears like Tesla still has quite a bit of work to do before that actually becomes a full self-driving feature complete product. So Tesla has not yet done that, but Tesla is investing a lot of time and resources in that. And I believe they will hit full self-driving feature complete at some point in the future. And then really that last goal really hinges on full self-driving feature complete. And that's allowing your car to make money for you when you aren't using it. And that's of course describing Tesla's robo-taxi network, which has been talked about a lot in the past. And obviously we're not there yet either. Now moving on to master plan part three, although master plan part two is not yet complete, Tesla will continue to work on that, but master plan part three is really going to, in my opinion, lay the groundwork for Tesla to really achieve the mission of the company. And that's to fully transition the world to sustainable energy and sustainable transportation. Because in order to do that, you need a massive scale of not only batteries, but also the factories to build the cars and the factories to build those batteries. So that's what Master Plan Part 3 is going to be about. Now let's dive into some of Elon Musk's past comments that I believe are related to what Master Plan Part 3 will be about. And I'll also give some predictions. But before I do that, I want to introduce the sponsor of today's video. Thanks to SPAN for sponsoring this video. The SPAN Smart Electrical Panel eliminates the need for a separate hardwired critical loads panel. Using the iOS or Android app, you can easily move circuits into one of three categories like the must have category, which is given priority during a backup, the nice to have category, which will be powered until your battery system reaches a 50% charge, and the not essential category, which is off during outages, allowing you to only use energy where it is needed most and extend your battery backup time. Try to do that with your existing system. To find out more and get a quote for your particular situation, go over to span.io or click the link in the video description. And when you do fill out that form to get a quote, make sure that you put cleaner watt in the comments section so Span knows that I sent you. Okay, now moving to some comments that were said in the past, specifically about Master Plan Part 3 and also just, I believe, in relation to Master Plan Part 3. At Tesla's annual shareholders meeting in 2022, as was reported by this Reuters article, Elon Musk made it very clear that this new Master Plan Part 3 would be about scaling, not only car production, but also the supply chain that supports it. In addition, back in September of 2020, I believe this plan was already beginning to take shape because at Battery Day, Tesla put up this slide that said, to achieve the transition to sustainable energy, we must produce more affordable EVs and energy storage while building factories faster with far less investment. I believe that statement right there really encapsulates a lot of what Master Plan Part 3 is going to be about. Um, it's going to be all about producing more affordable EVs in my opinion, and we'll talk about that uh, compact Tesla. Obviously energy storage is becoming more and more of a big factor in Tesla's future as we learn more about Tesla's Lathrop Omega Pack factory. And I believe we're gonna learn more about Tesla's next generation of factory producing Tesla's vehicles because Tesla learns with every factory iteration. And I believe Tesla's newer factories will be even better than Tesla's existing factories, which are already industry leading. So with that in mind, in short, my predictions for what Master Plan Part 3 will be about are as follows. First of all, I believe it'll be something like scale battery supply to 20 terawatt hours per year, sustainably source materials needed for that battery supply, introduce more affordable cars and more efficient factories to build them, and then also rapidly expand energy storage and generation. Now, first of all, some of these goals like that 20 terawatt hour battery production per year number, I'll talk about where I got that number in a minute, but that goal is not going to be achieved by Tesla themselves. I believe this new master plan will make room for other companies because here's a clip from Tesla's shareholder day with Elon Musk basically saying as much. New master plan is not, not yet ready. Um... I don't know, maybe aim, aim to get it done this month. But like I said, it's gonna be just uh, looking at the big picture. What does it take to make Earth uh, fully self-sustaining from an energy standpoint? And uh, yeah, just map it out and say this is, this is what needs to be done. Tesla will try to be as useful as possible in this regard and, and hopefully uh, lots of other companies can join in and, and help accelerate the 
sustainable energy revolution. Now, when it comes to that 20 terawatt hour per year battery production number that I mentioned in my prediction, this number comes from something that uh, Elon Musk and Drew Baglino discussed at Battery Day. And here's a clip of them discussing this. You basically need on the order of you know, roughly 10 terawatt hours a year of battery production uh, to transition the, the global fleet of, of vehicles to electric. And the average vehicle lasts 15 years. So we're talking about 150 terawatt hours, give or take turn to transition the whole electric, all vehicles of all types uh, uh, to electric. Yeah, so it's a, it's a lot of batteries, basically. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, so. And then on the grid side, uh, we, we have a similar mountain to climb, 1600 times growth from today's grid batteries to go 100% renewable on the grid and to take all of the existing heating Fossil fuel uses in homes and businesses, 100% electric. Yeah, and, and this, this number, I think, uh, might grow even more, depend, uh, you know, as the, the world economy uh, matures and as uh, countries with high populations industrialize, uh, we could see this number be even more. But it, let's say it's like roughly uh, tw 20 uh, to 25 uh, terawatt hours per year sustained uh, for 15 to 25 years to transition the world to uh, renewable. So if it's going to take roughly 20 terawatt hours of batteries per year to transition the world to sustainable energy, obviously Tesla cannot do that alone. And obviously it's going to require a lot of uh, minerals and materials to be able to do so. For this reason, it's obvious that this master plan part three has to include um, something about sourcing all the materials needed to produce this many batteries. Now, Tesla is already dipping their foot into this space somewhat with the lithium refinery that they're building in Texas and also the cathode materials production facility that they're currently building out at Gigafactory, Texas. So Tesla is already making plays in this field, but I believe they're going to do a whole lot more. And I believe this plan will once again include room for other companies to come on board and help with this transition. Now, when it comes to my third prediction of introducing more affordable cars and more efficient factories to build them, it is very likely that Tesla will discuss the new compact Tesla at this March 1st event. But once again, I believe this plan is going to be not only about introducing this model, but introducing the way that Tesla hopes to manufacture this next compact model in a way that costs considerably less than the existing most efficient processes, say like with the Model Y. And once again, Tesla really is the key catalyst that got us to where we are today and really the reason for the clean energy revolution that we're in right now. And I believe they will be the catalyst that pushes us forward all the way home to the completely sustainable future that Elon Musk and the Tesla team have envisioned. Tesla already has some of the most efficient factories right now, and I believe that'll only get better. And when Tesla's 4680 battery fully ramps up and when they solve all the little small issues they're having with that manufacturing process, once that happens, Tesla should be able to build batteries way more efficient than anyone else. So Tesla really has the technology to make this possible. In addition to these predictions, back on March 20th of 2022, Elon Musk did mention that at that time, this master plan was going to include AI, so likely the Tesla robot, and also appears like there's a possibility of this plan including SpaceX and the Boring Company as well. I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. Do you have any predictions that are different from what I discussed here? And what do you think Tesla's master plan part three will be about? Also, what are your predictions for what Tesla will call this new compact model that we will hopefully learn about on March 1st? Let me know in the comments section below. I do wanna say thank you once again to Span for sponsoring this video. And also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.